take you to the five things you need to know for today. McLaren Healthcare continuing to recover from that cyber attack that happened this month, working to get back to full operation, but some patients still unsure when it comes to upcoming procedures and treatments. One patient telling us that doctors found a mass and a cancerous lesion on his hip, but hasn't been able to get a biopsy to determine treatment. McLaren reporting Monday all their radiation therapy units at Carmano's Cancer Institute are now back operational. A woman accused in a deadly hit and run pleading not guilty during a virtual arraignment in Saginaw County District Court. Bobby Joe Shively is accused of causing a Saturday evening crash at Titabawasi and Hospital Roads in Saginaw County. The crash killed Melissa Wood of Saginaw. Investigators say Shively also took off in a car that was following hers. The historic Marion Hall in downtown Flint is getting a makeover. The president and CEO Glenn Wilson says they're getting a $1.5 million investment from the state of Michigan to go towards the development of a $45 million price tag. It will be mixed income and mixed use, including the retail space and 133 apartment units ranging from one to three bedrooms. United Auto Workers Union filing labor charges against Elon Musk and former President Donald Trump. In a conversation on X, those two talked about a potential role for Musk in Trump's administration, with Trump praising the Tesla CEO for his anti-union stances. The union filed the charges saying Trump and Musk were attempting to intimidate workers from going on strike. A more than $20,000 grant from CMU Health helping babies at greater risk of dying in Saginaw County. Countywide, there are about nine deaths per thousand births, and the city of Saginaw is 13 per thousand, one of the highest in Michigan. The effort includes 285 pack and plays where babies can play or sleep, new doula programs, and more funding for resources.